I never tire of looking at the stars. Remind you that there are things older and more mysterious than you. And they're always there, aren't they? The heavens never let you down. Yes, miss. Once a century, Parnell. That's when the planets and the moons converge for me and my kind. Once a century. It's been far too long. Yes, miss. Are all the arrangements made? Everyone I requested is coming? Yes, miss. They'll all arrive tomorrow. And all the details have been worked out? I expect a fine meal for my guests. Before I choose, I know they'll be hungry. As you're instructed. I don't want any problems. I don't want to have to replace you. Yes, miss. Good. There's only one opportunity for the becoming. I deserve this. Everything that I have worked for these past 100 years will mean nothing unless I find someone that I could share the next one with. Yes, miss. You'll have what you deserve. And who might you be? Jarrell. I'm here for the job interview. Mm. I'm Pernell. We spoke briefly on the phone before you uh, spoke to Miss Amina. You're right on time. Come in. Uh, your room's ready upstairs. Feel free to use the pool. Uh, the weight room's down the hall. Wouldn't want you to deflate with baseball season starting and all. Football. I play football. Of course you do. Hey, is your boss a man around? Maybe we can talk now. Let you get back to doing whatever it is you're supposed to be doing. All in due time, Mr. Football. All in due time. Follow me, please. I trust you'll find everything satisfactory. Looks nice. Hey, baby, I'm here. I don't know, met some weird guy. I don't know, sound of this mysterious Amina, but she is definitely loaded. Hey, and she knows those pro owners like she says she does over the phone. That could put me on easy street come draft time. <laughs> yeah, I know. Love you. I'm Eric, the model. Of course you are. 
You're an amazing physical specimen. Thanks. I get that a lot. Okay, come in. Nice pool. How's the water? Quite wet. Cool. Well, I'm gonna take a dip. Have my bags taken to my room and I'll take a mineral water. Sure, what? You seen a picture? Yeah. Old? Banging? She's hot. Nice. Look, uh, Purnell, her assistant is around here somewhere. He should be able to tell you more. Oh. All right, cool. Well, uh, guess I'll see you around then. Yeah, okay. headphones on at such a distracting level, you wouldn't be scared, now would you? What? I'm sorry, that's the music on. Right. DJ Craig, nice to meet you. I know. Let me show you to your room. Sounds good, my man. Hey, can you tell me a little bit more about this uh, audition? Uh, I brought all my samples. I really didn't know what to expect. The audition? Hmm, sure. Well, I'm not really sure what Miss Amina's looking for, but I know it isn't me. Sir? Nothing. Miss Amina's rich and powerful, and that often means eccentric. Gotcha. So, uh, can we use the pool? Enjoy everything here while you can. Sounds good. <laughs> Did you bring my drink yet? Um, no. Sorry, man. I'm DJ Cray. 
Wow. Too bad. Eric. How's the water? Nice. Great. Are you seriously still working out? Three times a day, every day. I'm going to the pool after this. That's nuts. This is perfect. So, you're a DJ. You do music? Um, yes. <sighs> when I'm modeling, I like music. Oh yeah? What kind? Trance? Old school? Dubstep? I don't know. You don't know? I just like something with a beat I can dance to. But on my time off, I listen to Enya. She takes away from all my troubles, helps me recharge. <laughs> what music helps you recharge? <laughs> Not Enya. Well, I'm an artist. I like working with other artists. Do you have records or do you use samples? Both, actually. I developed a really cool, unique sequencer system that yeah, helps me. that's good for you. Nice right. talk. Um, I'm gonna be over here if you need me, but I'm sure you probably won't. Right. planets aligning. By midnight tonight, they will all be in its place. Are all the candidates here? Most of them, miss. The writer hasn't arrived yet. The rest of them are here. The athlete seems to be only interested in his physical gifts, the musician and his music. As I anticipated, go on. The criminal will no doubt cause problems, and the model well, the less said about his utter lack of personality, the better. Do you doubt who I've chosen, Parnell? No, of course not, miss. Because when I found you, you were a sniveling little worm who had to be taught the simplest tasks. Yes, miss. All the time that I've spent correcting you has not been in vain, has it? No, of course not, miss. I'm grateful for everything. As you should be. Do you not have a better life here with me? I know you would be dead without me. Yes, miss, it's just... I am your life, Parnell. Never forget that. Yes, miss, it's just... Yes? Nothing. Good. Let all the candidates know that there will be a dinner at 11 p.m. tonight. Let them continue to believe all the stories I've crafted for each of them. Until then, I will have what I deserve. And it will be new and unknown and lovely. Yes, miss. Of course.
You must be the writer. Yeah, Tariq. Parnell. Miss Abina's busy right now, but she'll be greeting you all shortly. Oh. Miss Amina is exceedingly busy and eccentric. She likes to conduct all her outside business at once. This was explained to you, was it not? No, uh, of course. I just didn't... Believe it? Yeah, well, you're being paid this weekend. Double your going rate, I recall. So I suggest you realize you're on Miss Amina's time. We all are. And the sooner you realize that, the better. I didn't mean to offend you, sir. I just... You didn't. You're late. Your room is upstairs now, if you'll excuse me. Okay. Hey. Sorry, I didn't mean to bother you, man. No bother at all. Being looked at is my business. I'm rehearsing. Oh yeah? You a model? Yeah. How'd you know? <laughs> Lucky guess. I'm Eric. Tariq. Nice to meet you, man. What brings you here? Uh, Mina. Uh, you haven't met her yet, have you? Nope. But my agent says she's influential. She's paying twice my rate. Yeah, me too. Although I'm assuming you're getting a lot higher the rate than I am. You a model? No. Photographer? No, I'm, I'm a writer. Oh. Right. oh this is good shit, man. I told you. I usually like something totally different, but this is tight. I've been working like crazy to mix up all the usual beats that you heard everyone else track. Yeah, well, you did good. You know what? Thanks, man. I really appreciate that. Nice to hear someone who likes music here. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> hey, guys. Hi. Hey, I'm DJ Craig. Tariq, nice to meet you. Okay. Tariq, nice to meet you. You guys met the other guys in the house yet? Most of them, I think. Uh, for enough, it was like five of us here. And Eric? You guys oh, met him? Oh god, that guy is so stupid. <laughs> no, I'm serious. I thought he was mentally challenged. Uh, yeah, everyone has their own little thing, which is cool, but he is an idiot. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> he's an idiot. Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, Alright, gentlemen. Hi. I'm gonna go check out that bomb ass shower. I have no idea why we're here, but I'm gonna enjoy it. So do you know Amina? No. My uh, producer friend told me that she knows a lot of cats who owns clubs and record labels and whatnot. She called me, told me she might really help my career, so I had to check it out. That's what's up, man. What about you? No, I'm a writer. Mm -hmm. And yeah, she offered me a job interview. But since it was for a job I never applied for, in a position that doesn't even seem to exist, I turned it down at first. And then an editor friend of mine told me that Amina's rich and powerful and has her hand in a lot of different things, so. I don't know, though. It's all kind of mysterious. Oh, well, that assistant's a little weird, too. Yeah, I caught that. So, look, I tried finding as much information as I possibly could on Amina. Okay. You know, seeing as how she knows all these rich and influential people. But the weird thing is I couldn't find anything. Is that possible? It shouldn't be. In the age of the internet? I mean, I could barely even find a handful of blurry pictures and a few tangential mentions and other stories. And then there's the rumor. What rumors? I mean. Hey guys, I'm making Miss Amina's favorite meal tonight. So if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna have to put the soup on, as they say. Sure, sounds good. Is this going to be a fun night? Yeah, one way or another.
Yeah, baby, I know. Yeah, I did my morning routine. I should be able to get in a pretty full afternoon routine, too. Uh, no, chick hasn't shown up yet. Her assistant said we're meeting her tonight. Hey! Hey! Yeah, uh, I gotta call you back. All right, which one of you took my wallet? We've been down here the whole time listening to music. Look, whatever about that, one of you took my wallet. And we're not leaving here until I find out who. Yo, maybe it's in your room. I already checked there, asshole. What do you think I am, stupid? Sorry. Look, no one here took your wallet. All right, chill out. You got a problem? Seems like you don't want the problem. What's going on? What about you? You take my wallet, huh, pretty boy? I don't use wallets. I have a European shoulder bag. Cause I need room for my phone. Oh, shut the oh, hell shit. up already. Look, Kenny, what up you find it? Look, one of you here is a thief. And that ain't gonna fly, so we're not leaving here until I find my wallet. Man, don't accuse me of being a thief. Or what? Look, Kane, we'll help you find your wallet. Hey, chill out a sec. We're all guests here. This is Amina's house. And I'm guessing none of us is gonna get anything we want from this if this ends up being some knockdown brawl in the middle of her living room. Maybe you're all on it. Maybe this is some kind of joke. Well, I ain't no joke. I'll be back. Yo, where you going? You'll see. And you're not gonna like it. What is going on? King said one of us took his wallet. He went outside. Is his car out there? Because you best believe he's gonna get some backup if you know what I mean. Don't worry about it. I'll take care of it. But perhaps all of you guys should go back to your rooms for your own peace of mind. You think he's got a gun in the car? It's a safe bet. A, a gun? Criminals aren't supposed to have guns. And now what? I'll tell you what I'm doing. I'm going upstairs, shut my door, lock it, and we're going for you too. I'm not sweating that for I'm going out by the pool. Can I ask you a question? Yeah, sure. Do you think I should call my publicist about this? Sounds like just the thing to do, bud. Still haven't heard any gunfire, so I assume we're okay. And Kane's a fool, don't sweat it. All right. You know, I had to convince myself I had to come out here for one week. Gentlemen, I just wanted you to know I had a conversation with Kane. You won't have to worry about him disrupting us. You sure about that? Yes. He's been taken care of. Reimbursed for his troubles. Many times over. That sounds good. So uh, what time is dinner? 11 o'clock. Miss Amina likes to eat late. Feel free to take a nap.
Miss? Bear? Yes, come in. Have you started the soup for tonight? Yes, I have. But there's been a development. Yes, go on. The criminal misplaced his wallet and blamed the others. I feared for their safety. What did you do? Nothing. I spoke to him, paid him, and sent him home. That's too bad. But to be expected. I had hoped five would be at my table. Miss? Yes? Five can still be at your table. I proved my worth, have I not? I do so much already, and I would do anything for you. You have to know that. I mean, how can you not consider me to be your partner and not just your servant? Please, miss. I beg you. Please. Just consider me. Oh, Parnell. You sad man. You will never be worthy of me. You know that, don't you? You know that deep down in your heart. Yes. This display is unworthy of you. I trained you better. Yes, miss, uh, I'm sorry. I will make my choice tonight, and at midnight, the conversions will make its apex, and you will have two masters to serve. Yes, miss. Now, go on with your duties. I know what's best, don't I, Pearl Yes. Doubt me at your peril. Did you hear something up here? Yes. It sounded like a fight. Do you know what it was? No. Do you think Kane came back here? I don't know. I hope not. Well, me too. I'm sure this place is safe. Since we're eating so late, I was wondering if you could whip me up some egg whites, maybe some whole wheat toast. Sure. I'll get right to it. Thanks. I'll be down in a moment.
And something's off. Where are the others? I don't know. DJ, man, I'm calling the cops. Why? <laughs> You're a jock. I thought you'd appreciate a little man-made boost to your metabolism. What did you do? Oh, it's a mixture of my own making. Right now, your heart's racing because you got that adrenaline pumping through it. If it wasn't for the ammonia causing the extreme pain, you'd be able to run the 100-yard dash in no time. You. Yes, me. It will be me. Couldn't wait. Mm, not very good etiquette for a servant, but I'm not gonna be one for much longer. Where's everyone else? Uh, they couldn't make it. It's just you and me. Hmm. So now, have a seat. Have some soup. It's fresh. Really fresh. Take your bowl. Uh, oh, and by the way. Everyone else? Yeah, I killed them all. Good thing you didn't try to run, because I rigged the gate with electricity. The others I did with flair. Miss Amina will approve. Kane, all temper. So I beat him to death with a fireplace poker. And Eric's empty head I bashed with a statue. And DJ, I choked with this. Headphone cords. <laughs> and Jarrell? Mm. Hypodermic, filled with adrenaline and ammonia. I was hoping you'd be gone by now, too. Barely, well, you're not that smart. What was the plan for me? You know, I thought about bashing your head with a pen, you being a writer and all. Why would you do this, huh? Miss Amina must choose me. The convergence happens in about 45 minutes. And with all of you gone, I mean, she'll have no other choice but to choose me. I deserve this, to be by her side for eternity. So, this isn't a job interview. <coughs> Aren't you so smart? <coughs> I'm a writer and a researcher. And I found out enough information to know that Mina's not what she's saying. <coughs> she's a lot older than she looks. You know nothing. I know enough to poison your soup. <coughs> you couldn't have. I must say, there's not a lot of information out there on you. So I made sure to watch you closely. I guess you didn't realize with all the slinking around you were doing. 
But then I walked into your room and I found this. You stole Kane's wallet to turn him against us and make us believe that there's some villain out there that's killing us as you killed us one by one. <coughs> you don't know anything. I should say that you do talk to yourself out loud. It's kind of illuminating. And I overheard you and Amina's conversation. Not everything, but most of it. <coughs> I know you're a killer. I know you're jealous. And I know enough to protect myself. <coughs> you can't. You can't kill me. I'm. <coughs> Parno was loyal to a fault, but his mind was weak. I thought it would be a simple thing to just push him over the edge. I admit, I didn't think it would be quite that simple. What are you? In due time, perhaps we can adjourn to my bedroom. That wonderful view of the stars from there. And if I don't, and what if I leave? You could try. But there's been so much violence already. And I suppose your curiosity has led you to this? And you murdering another? Has it not? That was self-defense. Congratulations. I, just, I still don't understand. With Parnell encouraged to his own destructive devices, I was just hoping one of you would have the strength to survive. So, it was a job interview, in a matter of speaking. What are you? I'm someone who wants a companion. And after so many years of being alone, and with my brethren so set in their ways, that's not such a bad idea, is it? But why not? A conversion of stars allows it. Why? I don't know. What I do know is that you are standing here before me and five other men are not. Do you know why that is? I don't. Of course you do. It's because you know how to survive. And you ensure that survival as I have done throughout the centuries. And the other thing you have is a drive to know more, to ensure the world, the entirety of the world. And I can give that to you. I don't know if I can do this. I enjoyed sharing your dream. Again, so many new things to explore. So many new things that I can share with you. But you have to tell me that you want to share them with me. If so, your new life begins now. In my old life? My family? My friends? Forgotten. You won't need them anymore. You will be my companion. You will be by my side. And we will live like a king and queen. 
but I don't know. I'm not fit for this. No, no. You must decide now. The planets are aligning. If you hope to pass over, if you hope to be mine, to, to be my companion, you must give me your answer now. Yes. Please. I want to know. I want everything you want from me. And more. Welcome to the beginning of forever. Ah!